Hello class. In this video, we'll do face tracking and we'll put a mask on the character's face. Alright, so let's drop in the background footage into After Effects and let's create a conversation. And for this video, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to track the face. So in that case, I'm going to create a mask. Um, I will mask out the shirt and also the background, so we don't want any tracking points to be created on these areas. Okay, and also you can see that our uh, camera is moving, it's shaking, also our character is moving. So we'll have to make the mask to track with the character's face. So here I'll go to the tracker window. If you don't see that, just go to window and make sure to check on tracker. So you should see this. So I'm going to use uh, the track motion. Remember we have used that before. So as you click on that, you're going to know to a layer, the layer we have for our character, right? So it's open the layer window. And if you um, zoom in, so if you zoom in, you should see this tracking point. So I want to pick up a point that is um, has a strong contrast and is very focused. So here I found this spot looks good. As you can see, if I go to different time, this spot is also very sharp. Okay, so I will um, drag this uh, fo uh, this track point to here and make the search area a little bit bigger. Okay, and then I put my timeline at zero. Make sure here, you know, it's the centered. And and here I go to right click and create a new no object layer. And for this no object, I'm gonna see tracking no. Okay. And here I'm gonna add a target and make sure to select the track node and click on OK. And then you can click on this button to analyze. So now you can see that the tracking point is uh, stay with that spot. Okay, um, so in this case, it's very the track point is very good, so uh, we don't have any issue with that. So if you are tracking your own footage, sometimes we we'll notice that the specific point is off tracking, so you can just bring this back to the point, okay, and then continue analyze. All right, so once you're done with this, so what I'm gonna do is make sure at the target we set the target as the no object, and then uh, click on apply, and then here apply dimension, choose X and Y, and click on OK. Then if you switch back to your track node layer and under the position channel, you should see that we have created these keyframes um, that will make our node object to follow that point. Okay, so now I'm going to deselect the layer and I will use this tool. So by default is a rectangular tool. So I'm going to switch to ellipse tool and make sure the time is at zero second. And I will create a circle to include my character and then switch back to selection tool and you may adjust the shape if you see somewhere is not included okay and here for the fill color I would like to choose as white okay you can also change it from here so go to the content fill fill color you can change from here okay so after I created that what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, drop this uh, shape layer underneath the track node and I'm going to parent this shape layer to the track node. If you don't see the parent and link window, just go to column and check on parent. Okay, so after you parent it, now you should see that this mask is following our uh, character. Um, however, here we have some issue. As you can see, we haven't included the mouth, this area, so I may need to adjust it a little bit. And move it down and now go back so that's good so now it cover the entire head okay and then I will create a new layer a starting layer and for the color I'm going to pick up a pure black color click on OK 
and then drop it underneath the shape layer. So now, as you can see, we will have a perfect mask, right? So I'm gonna select all these three layers, right click, and go to pre-comp. So it is underneath that, it's out of frame, so pre-compose. Click on that, and you'll have this window. So I'm gonna say mask, and move all attributes into the new composition. Click on OK. So this is a mask layer, right? It's on top of uh, our background layer. So now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the track mat, and if you don't see that window, just go to column, check on modes, and switches. Okay, so for the mat, here I'm gonna change the mask layer as the Numa mat of the, uh, the face layer. So this is what it's going to, to be. All right, and then I'm going to select this uh, uh, main face layer and uh, this composition and drop to create a new composition. And for this one, I'm going to say final. So this is going to be the final composition. And in the final composition, as you can see, we have the previous composition um, as one layer, as one composition, right? So now we can select this layer and go to top menu animation and track hammer. So you're going to start to analyze uh, the movement, the dimension inside of this area. Once it's finished, we'll see these kind of points, right? So here I'm going to create a new camera. Okay, so that's the camera. And then I'm going to grab all these points. Actually, I don't need uh, these, so I'm going to deselect those. So I'll select all of the points on the face on the head and right click and create a nose which is 250 nodes. All right and then I'm going to go to a different spot which is the front and um, I think I'm going to just grab all everything and create a nose again. So some of the node objects are overlapped but it's fine. Just want to be very quick and then go to the center uh, maybe here and let's zoom in and see if we missed anything so this point we don't have any no object created and here so right click and create two nodes and then maybe here here right click and create four node objects and maybe here, here, here. And maybe on the ear. And on the hair. So here I'm going to add some little objects. Eyebrows. And this eye, I'm also going to add some no objects. And, oops. And on the nose, I may also add some no objects. So here, here, here. Okay, I think that's totally enough. Okay. Now don't forget to save your project. Okay, so save as. So here I'm going to go to this one, 11. And I'm going to save as a face tracking step one. So remember to save your project. And then I'm going to connect it with Maya. So I'm going to go to extension, Autodex, um, Maya Live Link. And then I will switch to Maya here under the file. I will uh, here go to After Effects Live Link. So now it says it's connected to the final composition, right? So now I can switch back to After Effects and then I can select all of these uh, new objects I created with the camera and drag them into this Autodex Maya Live Link window. So now it shows that it's updated. 
So now if I switch back to Maya, and in Maya, uh, in Maya, you can see that this is the head, the character's head, right? Here's the ear, here's the nose, here's the eye. Okay, so it's uh, a 3D shape, so we can use it as a reference for modeling. Uh, before we move forward, we also want to save our Maya project uh, in case anytime if we lose the if the program crashed and we may lose the file. So here I'm going to go to the file um, project window, and here I'm going to create a new and I'm going to change an location. So I already know the path, so I'm going to just type it here, and we'll see face tracking demo. Okay, accept, and then you should see that here, right? We created a Maya project folder, and we also need to save the scene. So we're going to go to the file and uh, save scene as, and you're going to save to the project folder we just created under the scenes folder. Okay, step one. Then I went to free3d.com and I searched the mask and I found this interesting mask so I'm going to use it for demonstration. Um, also included the download link on Blackboard. Now let's copy the model and uh, the texture and then go back to the Maya project folder, source image folder and paste the model and the texture here. So I'm going to drag in the model, bring it into here. Here we go. And if I hit W key, so this is the center, and what I'm going to do is go to Modify, Center Pivot. So now we center the pivot, and we can rotate it, move it based on that point. Okay, so I'll hit W key for Move, hit hold V key to snap it to the head, and then scale it down. And then let's um, adjust the orientation. Make sure it's similar to our character. So I can move it up a little bit. Bring it here. And I can also use After Effects as a reference. So if I distract, here we go. Okay, so now switch back to Maya, and now let's go to Hypershade. So you're going to go to Window Rendering Editor, Hypershade. Okay, so here I'm going to create a new material, a um, blink material. And I'll rename it to Mask, and for the color, I will load a texture image. And the image will be this one. All right. And then select the hammer and right click on the material and assign to the model. And then you can press 6 key on your keyboard to show the mask. And I'm done with the hypershade so we can close it. Okay, so now let's actually make the movie for a little bit. And scale it up a little bit. And then let's take a look at how it looks from the 3D camera's view. So I'm going to click on this button, which is this one. Okay, so you're going to show the two window. And on the left window, you're going to click on the panel perspective and check on 3D camera view. So that will preview uh, the animation from the After Effects track camera's view. And as you can see, the proportion looks different. In After Effects, uh, if you select um, here, if you select our conversation, so the width is 1080, the height is 1920. So in Maya, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the render setting and image format, change it to JPEG, and renderable camera, select the After Effects track camera. So you're going to render from this one. And for the image size, I'm going to change it to width as a 1080, height as a nine, uh, 1920, so that's the same as the After Effects camera, uh, the original video. And then close it, 
and then come back here and go to view and uh, camera setting turn on resolution gate so that will make the proportion of our render exactly the same as our uh, original video in After Effects so here I can click on this window and hit 6 key to also display texture from this window um, and then you know, if you hit space key enter it because the proportion of my interface you know it cut off the top and bottom but don't worry because if you do a play blast render see here if you do a render, it will be exactly the same kind of uh, proportion as your original video. Here we go. Right? So now let's see, um, because our character's face is inside here, so we will need to create a green screen to get rid of here, the inner side. Okay, so I'm gonna come back here and I'll create a new um, a new sphere and I'm gonna hit W key for move um, V for snap and I'll snap it into here and move it in and then I can scale it up So be careful about uh, the edges. So here basically we want to cover the whole face area. So you can adjust the shape. And maybe get back a little bit. Okay. And uh, here we're going to give it a, a green screen texture. So we're going to go to window. Rendering Editor Hypershade and here I'm going to create a new material a number material this time I'm going to say green screen and for the ink lenses I'm going to click and select a green screen's color and for the color I'm going to drop it down to black okay and I'll select the uh, sphere and apply this material okay so you can click on this window and just double check if uh, it cut off everything okay looks good so we can do another test render so if I hit space key to enter this window and go to the show I want to turn off the locators so if you check off here we go and then here for the show again I am going to turn off grid it's on the bottom grid otherwise when you render you're going to render this grid uh, it's annoying and the last thing I want to do is jump out and then I'm going to create a green screen in the background so we're going to make the background transparent uh, so I'm going to create a new polygon primitive a plan and I will make it bigger and rotate it 90 degree or something and place it in the back just make sure it covered everything in the back okay and I'm going to also apply the, the material go to hypershade and with this plan selected so I can assign the green screen material to it then let's take a look of our time range. So here I'm going to select uh, the After Effects track hammer, select it. So here are the keyframes, right? So let's see how many frames we have. So if I change it to one uh, to 250, so here we go. So the last frame of the animation is around frame 201. Oh, actually here you can see that the frame rate doesn't match so that's another issue so we have to check back so if I select the final composition as you can see the frame rate is 25 frames per second so here we all have to change that in Maya as well so change it to 25 frames per second so now you can see that the frame each frame is on each snot so the total runtime is a 209 so we can put our project as 
um, 215. So I prefer to have some extra frames. And if I go to the beginning, and if I put minus 10 here, you will see that the first frame actually started from zero. Okay, so I'm gonna put zero, zero here. So the frame will start at zero, and then I'll extend all the way back to 215. So with this time range, we should be good to render. So I'm going to click on empty spot to deselect, and then space key to enter this uh, this window. And then I'll go to Terminal menu window, play blast, click on this setting box, and make sure all the settings um, is exactly the same as mine, and then play blast. Okay, so once it's finished, you should see the video in your project folder under movies folder. So here I'm going to rename it to uh, test render one, and I'll go back to After Effects and drop this video back in here. And then as you can see in our final composition, because we created a mask, so this video has been cut off. So definitely this will not be final composition. So I changed my mind. I will see um, only for tracking. And then I'll select this video and create a new composition again. So for this one, I will rename it to final because in this composition in this video we get everything so definitely you will be final and now let's drop our video to here and change the skill make sure the frame matches so here I'll just type 130 okay and then I will apply a um, green screen effects to it so here go to effects window I'll get a Kina 1.2 effect onto it and pick up the green screen color and let's take a look at how the, it looks okay it looks like we have to change the orientation a little bit right it doesn't match so in the beginning our character is aimed to this direction all right so i will switch back to maya and i will turn on the locator uh, locators temporarily and then go to onlander and right now because we have the sphere with the green screen and also the helmet so i can just um, parent this sphere into here so i can select it hold down command key and select the helmet the mask hit pk to parent so now uh, this object is a child object of the helmet Okay, so now we can select the mask and hit R key for uh, E key for rotation, and we can orient it to this direction. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go to the show and turn off the locators. And you can select any empty object to deselect and then go back to zero. And then we'll do another play blast. And once it's finished, we're gonna see test render two and I'll drop it into After Effects and bring it on top, change it to 130 and hide the first one. And also I'm going to copy the keylight effect and paste it onto here. And let's take a look at how it looks. All right, so now it's much better. All right, the movement, the skill relationship and the orientation. Okay, so basically this is the concept. You can do whatever you want on the character. You can even put a scar, you can um, uh, have a robot head, you know, half 
like half a robot, half a human body. You know, you can do all of the crazy things you can.